Hello and welcome to the video how to edit your listing or change listing in FlexMLS. This short tutorial will show you the things that you can do in the edit listing screen. So to access the screen once you're logged into Flex you'll click on the menu button and underneath add change section you'll click on change listing. So when you come to the screen change listing step one you can either click on the list number that you'd like to edit and it's defaulted to show your active listings. If you'd like to edit a listing of yours of another status such as expired or withdrawn, you can simply click this drop down menu and display those status of listings. The only status that you cannot edit is sold. Um, if you need to make a change to a sold listing, just give us a call here at the MLS and our admin department will take care of that for you. Okay, So I'll go ahead and click on the listing that I want to edit or I can pop the list number up here, doesn't matter. So this will take you into the change menu for that listing that you see here. So you can see the change menu is broken down into four sections. In the listing information section, you've got three things that, well, you've got two things that you can edit that you can't edit this. Okay, so listing information. If you need to go in and you need to change something like the tax year or the tax amount or bedroom or something like that, you can simply click on listing information and it'll open you up to the screens. So any information that displays on any of these tabs, you're open to edit those. Um, things such as listing date or start showing date for a delayed listing, we'd have to edit those at our office here. Okay, I'm going to save changes. So that's the listing information link. I just de deselected the um, all MLS authorized site so this test listing doesn't go out to our third party sites. All right. Next is map location. If you need to change the listing pin on the map, this is where you can do this. So maybe you're entering in a vacant land listing that doesn't have an address, so it's like a lot, whatever, and the system can't find an address, or maybe it's a brand new address or subdivision. For whatever reason, the system cannot find that listing. All right, so and you make sure you verify that you've got the correct address, uh, municipality, county, and zip code. Okay, so here, let's say if I wanted to move this pin, maybe it was sitting over here in the middle of the street. I'm just holding down my left mouse button and I'm just positioning it over the lot where I want it. And then I would click use this location. If you need to move the map around a little bit further, you can grab the map. Just hold down your left mouse button and just kind of drag it where you need it to be. If you need to zoom in or out, that's what the little zoom bars here is for. Plus, minus sign is zooming out plus sign is zooming in okay so let me just slide this back over here and then I'll click use this location and that will map that pin to that lot okay listing selling member you can't edit that that'll just show your name next under status and price change section edit current status this is where you can change a listing from active to active with offer or back to active again so you would click on here so it's currently active. To change it to active with offer, here you want to make sure that the contingent field is showing with offer. So just hit that drop down menu, select with offer, then put a check in active with offer date with your date that the offer was made and you click next and then next. Okay, so now you see it's active with offer. If you need to remove the contingency, same thing, but in reverse, go back into the same link deselect the with offer simply by clicking the drop down menu and selecting the blank space and then taking the check out of the active with offer date next and next so now it's just active next is change list price so if you wanted to change a listings price it's kind of self-explanatory just pop in your new price and hit next extend or expire the listing this is where you can extend the expiration date of a listing or if you wanted to expire out on a specific date at midnight you can do that here you make that change and you just click next so if you chose to expire if you move the date back it'll expire out on midnight of the date that you selected next is to pin the listing to put the listing in pending status you're not taking any more showings so you select that Put in your pending date here, then you click next. I'll just pop in today's date. 
All right, so now that listing is in a pending status, notice that your options change a little bit over here. Let's say the deal fell through and you needed to put it back on market. Only when a listing, current status of a listing is pending, withdrawn, or expired will this back on market link show. Okay, so to put a listing back on the market from one of those three statuses, you just click back on market and then you just pop and make sure that the, the date here is correct. Then you hit next, next, and so now we're back to active. All right, to close out the listing, you've sold it. Here you go to close listing. Selling member, just put in the first few letters of that selling member's name. All right, you select it from a list. If you might need to scroll down a little bit. Put in your sold date, sold price, terms of sales, if there was any concessions made in the pending date, and any private remarks that you wanna add. Private remarks is kinda important if you use yes for the concessions, um, basically letting them know what dollar value was given or what sweetener was added to to encourage the sale all right i'm just going to back out of here to withdraw the listing if you temporarily need to take it off the market for any reason you would come in here and then choose the withdrawal date hit next now the listing is in withdrawn status to put it back on the market again you've got that back on market Double check your expiration date, hit next, and that'll put it back on market immediately. Lastly is expire listing. If you need to immediately expire off the listing, like right then, you click expire, expire listing, change it to the date, it will usually be the day that you're doing it. Once you hit next, that listing is expired immediately. I'm just gonna go back. Okay, so that's the status and price change section. Next, under multimedia, is where you can add photos. You can add a maximum of 25 photos to your listings. Um, recommended file size is no larger than five megabyte in size. Um, take it in landscape format. So to add a listing, as you see, I've got add photos. I've got photos here. I can click on add photos, and then I can use this to point it to the location of my photos. I don't think I have photos anyplace else. I'll just point them back to where I had them. Uh, desktop. There you go. All right, so let's say I wanted to add, I can add all of the photos at one time simply by clicking the first photo, holding down my shift key, and clicking the last photo that will get all of those files in between. Or if I wanted to cherry pick, I can hold down my control key and kind of pick around like that and then hit open and then the photos are loaded. If you need to reorder your photos, you can do that by either switching the photo number. Maybe if you wanted this to be in the number one position or number two position, whatever photo that you want to be in the main list photo, position, you want to make sure that it's number one and it has the tag of the blue flag that lets them know that this is the primary photo. This is the one that will go on the data sheets. All right, so I'm going to return to edit my listing. If you like to add any documents to your listing, make sure you scan them. They're in a PDF format, no larger than 10 megabyte in size. So once you come in here, you use this choose file button or browse. It may be for your browser or your Windows machine. And once it opens up, you point it to the location of where that PDF file is that you want to upload. Choose the type that you're uploading. Make sure that if it's a listing contract, you make sure you select listing contract. That keeps it private. I'm just gonna pop this in as a lease. And add there view the lease. Okay, I'm going to return to the edit listing screen. Next, if you'd like to add a video to your listing, you can come in here, add video, and in this box is where you would put the embed code. The embed code you'll be able to identify because it starts off like this. Oops. It'll have this at the front end, and then it'll have another iframe at the back end of it. That is the embed link of a video. If what you're adding starts with HTTP colon, like a website, that would be a virtual tour. So I'm going to back out of here. 
So to add virtual tours, you would come into the virtual tour. Your third party vendor virtual tour company would email you the link. You would simply copy that email link virtual tour that they send you and just paste it in here. So it'll be HTTP colon slash slash and then a link leading to their website to your property. All right, let's go back. To add open houses dates to your listing, you just go to open house, got one here already. You just go add, add the date that you wanna pop it in on, the time, that you like to have it in any comments and you hit next. You can only add one date at a time. So if you're having an open house Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you would have to repeat the steps for each date. Okay, I'll return to my edit listing screen. And then here you can enable or disable showing time on this listing. If you did not want this to be available for making showings online, you would like for the uh, other agents to give you a call or follow whatever showing instructions you have listed on the data sheet and bypass this. You can simply click on this and then here allow agents to request appointment online. You will select no and save your changes. So now this listing is not available to schedule showings through with showing time. And you can always come back and change it. If this link doesn't appear for you right away after you add a listing, give it about 15, 20 minutes for the data transfer to go over to the showing time company to for that to happen, okay? So this is what you can do with the change single, with the change listing. So this is how we got here, menu, Underneath add change is change listing. So editing your listing, change listing, same thing. Thanks and have a great day.